Okay, YouTubers. So this was a video request by one of my subscribers on how to convert 8 ohms, 6 ohms, or 4 ohms to 70 volts. The reason you probably are wanting to go this route is because, let's say you got a speaker. In fact, I'll actually show you right here on camera. So I'm going to use this one for example here. My low well speaker I just got today. Now, you could easily just say, oh, pff, I could bypass it. I don't need it there. But guess what? That's not always the case. See these right here? Those are not screws. Those are pressed in there. They're not star screws. It's just basically a pressed in little bolt, I'll call it. So you can't get this out to bypass your transformer. It's not going to work. And you don't want to destroy a nice speaker. Now, there's an easy way around that problem. So let me lift the speaker back up. This nice low well speaker. That sounds really good, by the way. So I'm going to put this back up. I'm knocking it over. So I drew a little schematic here. It's not the greatest schematic, but you'll probably get what I'm saying. So. Right here, that's your 8 ohms from your audio equipment. Like this, for instance, here. You got your 8 ohms coming in. It's going through the transformer windings. Through these windings here, it converts it to 70 volts and you tap it to 5 watts. Yes, I recommend tapping it to 4 or 5 watts. The maximum wattage, basically, of your transformer. Now, every transformer is different. Just depends on what kind you have and I'll grab some out in a little bit after I'm done reviewing the schematic with you guys so it's going through your 70 volt stage and obviously these are my wire nuts so you got your 70 volts coming out here and going out to these wires in there yeah, I accidentally drew a brown line but this is 70 volts 5 watts as well so they're going it's going through that stage now Here's where it comes to all these wires on the side here, you guys. There's a lot of wires with these speakers, especially if you guys knew with this kind of stuff. Here's a little lesson here. Your tap chart's always going to be your friend. Let's just say that. So you got your taps right here. A 70 volt or a 25 volt tap. Some may be only 70 volts. And if this darn camera can focus here. Uh, camera just doesn't like to be cooperative okay I don't know if you can see it but you got your 70 volt side and your 25 volt side so this is just each independent wire here so let's say I wanted to put it at 25 volts 2 watts you're gonna to want to use this red wire right here instead of this gray wire here you're gonna to want to move this over to this brown wire, you want that transformer to be tapped all the way if you want all that sound to reach the speaker. Or let's say you want to put it at half a watt, 70 volts. You're going to use this purple wire, as it, according to the chart here, half a watt. You don't want to grab your purple wire out and wire it to this gray wire here. Get rid of this gray wire and put that purple on this, this brown wire instead. So what's happening now is you tap it to whatever you want. In my case, I tapped it to 70 volts at 4 watts or 5 watts, same thing. And it's going through that transformer that's inside this back can here. And it converts it back over to 8 ohms to your speaker. And yeah, don't judge me on the drawing. It's on a little rush. So that will connect to your paging speaker or horn. And yes, this applies to horns too. That's an easy solution to this problem. If you can't take off this back can to access your transformer that's all you that's the only way you could get this to be compatible with their 8 ohm receiver 16 ohms will work it might overload the transformer a little bit so let me go grab some transformers for some so examples. there's a few types of paging transformers you may encounter now this is a quantum transformer I would not recommend using these because they kind of have a very weird winding type of situation so Avoid using quantum transformers. 
You could go ahead and use a 4J. 4J is a whole lot like a Bogan transformer. Bogan I definitely recommend. They're, they're perfect for this operation. This is also a 4J. You can use a 4J transformer too. Remember, tap your transformers, your transformers that's taking the 8 ohms in to the maximum wattage that they could take, which could be 4 or 5 watts. So, and here's an Atlas transformer here that's connected to this other speaker. So, here's an Atlas transformer. These are also another good type of transformer to use for this operation. This is what you call reverse engineering a transformer. Obviously, you get you have your eight, your eight ohms coming in. And by the way, if any of you ever come across this too. Well, I can't tell which wires go to the speaker. See these bare copper wires? That's your 8 ohms going out to the speaker. Or in my case, you could take, it'll go right in through these windings and convert it out to 70 volts, which I tap this one to all the way to 5 watts, which in my case is a brown and a black. According to this chart on here, Atlas actually stamps their chart onto the transformer. I don't know if this darn camera will focus or not, but they have it to each corresponding wire here. So my black is obviously my common, and then my brown is my 5 watts. Now on the other end to the speaker, you could tap it to 2 watts, half a watt. You could do that. If that's to your desire. If you want to have full watts, knock yourself out. Just whatever you do, don't play bass I love you, because obviously you're going to blow the speaker out. So, don't use these as car speakers. If you want to do that, go get some car subwoofers, but this is not the type of type of thing to do with these speakers. Don't use them as car subwoofers. You could use them as stereo speakers. So, I hope this video was helpful to you guys that that run into this issue occasionally, especially if you're new with this kind of stuff. That's how 70 volt audio basically works in a simple form. So, smash that thumbs that thumbs up button. If you really like this video and found it helpful, you can send me comments, ask me questions, and I'll be more than happy of explaining it to you guys. So see you guys all later.